So off the shelf, the Creality K series has several issues that can lead to a poor quality first layer. One of these issues being bed level, not to be confused with bed warping. So to understand why our bed isn't level, first we need to understand cascading failure. On the onset, you would think if there's something wrong with the bed level, then we must adjust something up here with the bed itself. But that's not true. So let's understand that the bed isn't level because the Z-screws aren't aligned. Now, why aren't the Z-screws aligned? The Z-screws aren't aligned because they're driven by a belt that is shared with all three screws. And that belt is driven by a stepper motor. So this problem cascades all the way down from the top of the bed to the very bottom of the machine. And what we need to do is address the belt itself and the way it aligns and locks in with the Z screws. Now there are two different methods on how you can level the bed for the K1 series machines. I've made sure that I've put both these methods in this video and I've left timestamps if you want to jump from one to the other. So before we start, we need to turn the printer on and make sure that we home the printer. And the reason is we want this bed to be all the way up towards the top of the printer before we start trying to align the Z screws. Once we home the printer, we can go ahead and take the printer and set it up on its side so we can access the bottom. So the K1 series machine has six screws for the bottom cover. There's four inside the feet and there's two, one here and one here. And we'll just go ahead and back those out so we can access the bottom of the machine. So now that we've removed the bottom cover, we can see the belt here that is driving the three Z screws. Now the way the Z screws actually align is they're indexed into the teeth on the belt. And if they're not indexed correctly, then we have alignment issues. And this again goes to the cascading failure where it's not the bed itself and it's not exactly the Z screws, but it's the way that the belt indexes with the bottom of the Z screws. And that's why we need to come to the bottom of the machine to address this problem. So now we can see the belt tensioner that's incorporated in the belt system towards the front of the printer. What we need to do is completely remove the front screw facing the front of the printer completely out of the belt tensioner. And the other screw we're just going to loosen so we can freely compress that belt tensioner. Now keep in mind that those screws just go into heated inserts that are in the bottom plastic of the printer. So you don't want to over tighten them or try to torque them too much. You'll strip those inserts and then you won't be able to tension your belt properly. Now that we have the belt tensioned, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Now in Creality's After Sales YouTube video, what they have you do is they have you move the bed all the way to the bottom of the printer and put the shipping screws in. Then they want you to pull the belt off and put it back on. Now we're not going to do that because this leaves us with the problem that we had in the first place, where the way that they index the Z screws into the belt isn't exactly a proper way to do it. And it doesn't get us close to level like we want. It doesn't get the Z screws properly aligned because there's no absolute position. And when we're leveling the bed and aligning the Z screws, we need something called absolute position. So how do we get this? Well, earlier we made sure that we homed our printer and we just left it be. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the printer back on and start meshing the bed. This will give us an idea of how off level our bed is and how out of alignment our Z screws are. At this point, we can start to adjust the Z screws. Keep in mind, we need absolute position. So the way we get this is we do not, under any circumstances, adjust the rear Z screw. We will only be adjusting the front two Z screws, leaving the rear Z screw to act as an absolute position. Now that we've run our bed mesh, we can see that our range is at a 2.8. Now keep in mind, 2.8 is far outside the requirements for auto bed leveling to properly take effect. For auto bed leveling, you realistically want anything below 0.2, and ideally you want to be below 0.1 for auto bed leveling. Now to raise or lower the bed, we just need to rotate the front Z screw clockwise to move up and counterclockwise to move down. Now for you zoomers out there, left is up, right is down. Before we can rotate the Z screws by hand, we need to go and compress the belt tensioner. This will allow us to more easily rotate the Z screws. So since this bed is at a 2.8, I'm going to rotate the front Z screws clockwise to move the bed up. And I'm going to do this slowly and just run another bed mesh. Now generally what I do is I pop one or two teeth at a time, but I'm quite comfortable with this and I've done it several times. So I'm used to knowing exactly how my bed's going to land. But if you're doing this for the first time, try to jump one tooth at a time as you don't know how fast you're going to move that bed up or down and just be patient and run a few bed meshes as you're going. So now that the bed is at a range of 0 
I'm gonna go ahead and call it good here. Now, it's not perfect, but the issue is with the teeth is as you jump, you'll find out that you don't have a lot of range. It's a very limited range. So you can over jump and be above where you wanna be, or you can jump below. So at this printer, 0 0.22 is about as close as we're gonna get. It's not perfect, but there's other alternatives to get it perfect after we get the Z screws lined up. So now that I've aligned the Z screws and the bed's in a better range for level, I'm gonna go ahead and undo those changes so I can show you the second method. Now granted, the second method's a little more dirty, but it works just as well. Now our bed is at a range of 1.28, a little further than we want it to be for auto bed leveling. So at this point, I'm gonna show you the second method on how to align the Z screws and to get that bed more level. To do this, we're gonna use a set of pliers. Now keep in mind, we're gonna do this at the very bottom of the Z screws. And the reason is the bottom of the Z screw never interfaces with the section that is riding along the rail to level the bed. Now, if you're worried about the teeth on your pliers leaving any marks or scratching up your Z screws, keep in mind, you can simply fold a piece of paper and put it in between the teeth of the pliers and your Z screw. That way you're not leaving marks. You can do this with anything, a piece of paper, a piece of rubber, anything you really find. But I'm not gonna be using that today. I'm just gonna go directly on it with the pliers. Lastly, you don't wanna just put the pliers on there and just start yanking on them. What you wanna do is be patient and just smoothly rotate them until you hear that audible pop and you'll feel it too. What this means is that the Z screw has skipped one tooth on the belt. And we just keep doing this and we run a bed mesh letting us know how far up or down we're moving the bed mesh. So with method two, we were able to achieve a quick and dirty alignment of the Z screws. This brought our bed into a range of 0 0.25. Now keep in mind, when skipping the teeth, we can only get so close. Now there are other methods where we can get the bed even more level, but we're not going to cover that in this video. Using one of these methods, you should have no issues achieving a better bed level for your Creality K1 series machine. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, just reach out and let me know. I have more content like this on the way soon.